this video, Dimitra and I are going to judge last month's contest in Art Club, which is all about reflections. Super excited about how many entries there were and all the hard work you guys put into it. So much creativity. So we are just going to review these and we're going to find out who the community winner is and that person will win $500, which is super exciting. So watch till the end to find out who wins the 500. All the other four winners will win $125. And that's who we're choosing right now. That's who we're choosing right now. And so the categories are skills, sellability, uniqueness, and theme. How, you know, closely or, you know, how they nailed the theme, right? Yeah, and I really loved how people interpreted this, you know, painting reflections, whether it was literal or symbolic. It was just so cool to see all the different ways everyone kind of took this topic to heart. And this painting was one of our favorites. It's absolutely beautiful. And I love how dreamy and surreal it feels. Mm -hmm. It really takes you deep inside the painting. There's so much depth with those back windows or doors that are just like misty light just mm -hmm. pulls us in and she did an amazing job. I love how the horse is sort of standing in water. A nod to reflection. I like that's kind of mountainy but abstract. Good yeah. colors. Yeah. This is really beautiful. The birds. I really like how the birds are kind of see-through with the background and they are mm -hmm. done abstract. I like the stylization that's in here. I think that's really cool. I, I wish she was a little less realistic and like more stylized or in the same stylization as the bottom. The bottom's done with excellence and I really love how she feels like a mermaid. Mm -hmm. So maybe a peacock, like it's just yeah, really in a, a garden combination. Yeah, really cool. This is beautiful. Yeah, very beautiful. That's pretty cool. I, li I like it a lot. I think, I don't know if the color palette is working so well, but I love the idea. I think this one's really quirky. Yeah, and it's very unique. Yeah, I really like how the eye is reflecting. It makes me wonder how they've created that photo. Maybe they took it themselves. They found someone to model this, but... Or she made it up or something. Yeah, it's really cool. I like how you wonder, like, are we inside the water glass or is this, you know, because the fish are swimming. So, yeah. She, yeah. That's true. That was very interesting. That one is very beautiful and definitely gives you a very peaceful feeling looking at it and very reflective. Yeah, I love the depth and how far away you go back and this, this bird to this bird shows a lot of depth. That's very beautiful. It's always such a challenge choosing the winners. Mm -hmm. Like it looks like a, a glass, like a wine glass, but then it kind of morphs into a mountain or an mm -hmm. I, a piece of ice. It's like it's melting the whole. Yeah, mm -hmm. and without like too far into realism, you get that idea, you know? Yeah, really well done. This is cool. I love how this person chose to do an abstract for reflections instead of, you know, being literal about it. Yeah, it almost it's, feels like you're underwater. Yeah, or it's, I think of like underwater definitely, but also like a bouquet of underwater. Jar of enchantment. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. I love how they create the glow mm -hmm. on her skin and that's really well done. That's hard to pull off. Mm-hmm. I like how this little girl doesn't look so specific. It looks, you know, like it could be anybody. Mm -hmm. So many good paintings this month. So hard to choose. That one is so cool. Yeah, very, very interesting. I love these little Argyle horses. For theme, we have chosen Fragile. Yes. So congratulations, Bettina Rees Sorensen. I feel like this really encapsulates the theme of reflection and this just brings so much emotion and thought and we're really drawn into the piece and it's open-ended but also has this meaning that's obvious. So it's just, it's a really well done painting mm -hmm. and um, congratulations. Congratulations. So we have chosen Checkerboard Dreams for uniqueness. So Lana Vengard, congratulations. We think this is very unique and so dreamy. We love it, so congratulations. Tanya Miller, congratulations for your painting jar of enchantment. We love this piece and it's clearly done with so much skill and it's a really beautiful piece. I think if you're chosen for any of these categories, your painting really does have all four categories. It's 
subtle, mm. unique, and done with lots of skill, and it's obviously within the theme. So great job. Mist on the lake. We believe that this wins the sellability category. This type of sort of transitional landscape that's kind of abstract, moody, and not you know, overly colorful is super sellable right now. And you did a great job. And we just disappear into the reflection of this mist on the lake. So congratulations, Rebecca Henry, you won the sellability. Now for the community winner, da -dun -da -dun, is Ethereal Embrace by Karen Takmo. Congratulations, you win $500, so that's very exciting. So we encourage you guys to continue submitting your artwork into these contests. It's a great way to get motivated and, and inspired with a new challenge. So we think it's so great. Every month we get to see all these fabulous submissions and all your creativity. I highly encourage you to keep participating and it will grow your skills. It will help you to be more and more creative and try new things, so keep up the good work. Work.